do like they did with the, with the Blackwood, and Blackwood basically was left in a cliffhanger. For the Sword spoke true. We can reach the Mythos from here. But first, we must align the threads of fate. Assist me, Proxy. I can align the threads through your capacity as fate's chosen. Touch each thread in turn. Mortals manipulating the very strands of fate. How unlike Hermaeus Mora to put such power in your hands. He must be truly desperate to keep us in the dark concerning the crimes he perpetrated so long ago. I assumed my intentions were quite clear. I seek to restore that which was wiped from existence in the ancient past by Hermaeus Mora. The memories that I only suspected were real because of the dream that haunted me. Because Daedra do not normally dream, ah. this one was relentless, recurring night after night. A vision of a statue of Vermina and the ever-present gaze of Hermaeus Mora. I originally sought out the Prince of Dreams' help to make sense of it all. Obviously. But all Vermina was able to do was determine that she and Periite shared the barest recollection of the same memory. That knowledge bound us together. We pooled our resources and planned to recover the stolen memory from Apocrypha. I cannot answer those questions. I have no memory of life before I lost my clan. I don't even know where I originally came from. A part of my past is missing. A part of me. And I won't rest until I recover it. Some memory returns, but not enough. So I want... Uh, he's like a Line each of the threads of fate. Joker. Thread of the fate. Fate shifts in our direction. Good. Let's put all Moomins back to the valley. Nicely done. Now let's return to Lyrimel and see if everything aligned correctly. Another chance at perfection. Almost there. Help me align the portal proxy. The way into the mythos is open. Chosen no fate. Speak with me. Okay. Corruption wreaks havoc with my realm, Chosen. Any relief I experienced after breaking free of Vermina's dream has left me. My connection to Apocrypha grows ever more tenuous, and the vile poison debilitates me. The Great Eye is blind while Vermina hides from me. I glimpsed Periak's lapdog break into the mythos before my sight faded. He spreads corruption into the realm's foundation. As Apocrypha succumbs, the realm will crumble. Such destruction will ripple throughout reality. Good. Once inside, you will be my eyes. I will not be able to assist you directly, nor show you where to find the invader. I wonder if the Tremora, the secret, and the threat to Apocrypha basically did three different things. Torvisar. Hmm. Of course. The unseen. I cannot sense his presence. The Black Book will carry. Use it if you need my strength. Just do not look directly into the pages. Even fate's chosen can be harmed by the 
briefest of explosions to forbidden knowledge. I call for all whose fates are intertwined with yours, chosen. Only together can you save reality. Have I mentioned how much I detest teleportation? Non you certainly do tend to collect an odd assortment of companions. Non consensual teleportation. When I embarked on this quest with you, I never expected to be working alongside Daedra, let alone be marching into the very heart of Apocrypha. I admit, I'm afraid, but I'll stand by you. By you and Laramil both. You have my word. Are you offering me a way out? Thank you, friend, but I'll pass. I promised the abbot I'd recover the Fulcrum Obscura, and Torvasad assured me Blightcrown has the relic. Well, how can I turn my back on saving reality? Or abandon Laramil? As long as the corruption threatens her, she's going to need someone to lean on. Wait a moment. What are you <laughs> implying? They say the dead have nothing to fear. Then why am I filled with a sense of unease? Well, as long as you carry my soul gem, I'll go where you go. Even if we're probably marching straight to our doom. Truthfully, I have no idea. I've seen you accomplish some amazing feats, and Hermaeus Mora has faith in you. But this is the mythos we're going into. To face the champions of two enemy princes, maybe even the princes themselves. Uh, not my usual fare. I didn't say that. The fate of reality hangs in the balance. That's not something to walk away from. Not if we have the slightest chance of preserving existence. No. I'll help you as I can. The spirit of a Tavani Magister and his surrogate body. That's an excellent question. I had to employ numerous wards to barely study the thing without being whisked away to Apocrypha. But if the Prince of Fate says you can use it to aid your mission, take him at his word. He has no reason to lie to you. I suffer just as the Great Eye suffers. But I'll float alongside you into the very depths of Apocrypha. Which just happens to be where we're going. Just don't blame me if my tentacles fall off or I attack you or something. What choice do I have, mortal? The Great Eye commands, and I obey. Besides, whatever Torvasar did to me, it seems to be holding back the worst effects of the corruption. At least for now. While the corruption still threatens me, I shall not turn away from my obligation. I started this with you. I plan to finish it with you as well. But we cannot understate the danger. If Scrooge or I succumb, Turn to Torvasad to aid you. Of course not. There is something unusual about that, Tremora. Not the least of which is the fact that the one who knows cannot detect his presence. But Torvasad obviously requires something from you. Use that to your advantage. So basically, feels like Torvasad is zero summed, which is interesting, but. Uh, this might be side effect of um, Hermora trying to erase the knowledge, secret knowledge of something that Torvasard is part of. Hence, if you re uh, remove the information from the uh, mind of everyone, they are going to forget Torvasard, including including Hermora. So that's how I understand this. Perhaps. But the one who knows seems to think something more is at play. And I agree. Torvasad requires further investigation. But later, when reality is no longer in imminent danger, remember what Hermaeus Mora told you. Remember the Black Book. Just what Mora told you. Use it when you need to call on his strength. Do not look too deeply into the pages, though. I know from experience what gazing upon such knowledge can do to a mortal mind. I just wish Gadain did not insist on going with us. I am concerned about all my allies, but... Yes, 
Gadain's safety worries me. I fear that his heart is too pure, too inexperienced to survive what we shall experience in the mythos. If I falter, keep him safe, Proxy. Please. Cute. An odd collection of allies for someone so formidable. You may count me among them. At least until our paths once again diverge. I am ready to enter the mythos when you are, mortal. The Prince of Fate has his secrets, and I have mine. The truth is, however, I do not know. That is one of the things I hope to learn when I recover the stolen memory from the ancient past. I believe the lost memory concerns us all. But yes, I think it holds a special significance for myself. What that is, I can only imagine. Not knowing, though. It drives me to reveal what was hidden, no matter the cost. Okay. Interesting. Manufactories and the corruption will dissipate. Just shatter the dream crystal that binds them to the mythos. Save Apocrypha while I pursue Vermina. Come, Gadane. We'll take the west portal and leave the east to Laramel and Fate's chosen. Good thinking, Scrooge. This way, Proxy. Do I need to drop down from. Ah, yes. Yes, I do. Light crown must have shattered the path. Simple enough to rectify. That took more out of me than I expected. Follow the path, Roxy. I sense something has gone awry. What happened? Can't keep pushing herself like that. The corruption is wearing her down. Probably going to gloat. Over here, we could use some help. But where's Laramie? Time for tea, then. As soon as we arrived, we never reached the manufactory. The way is blocked. Let me summon a portal. Ugh, I'm exhausted.
closer to me, friend. I need power. What does he Kill. Okay. Well, of course. Just as Torvasad said. Now I can return it to the Abbey. Look, Laramil, we found them. When you are ready, Praxi, this portal shall take you to their needle. Laramil, thank the ancestors you're all right. I'll never understand why I waited until I was dead to face a Daedric prince. Oh, I know. Because it's the stupidest thing I've ever done. Yeah. But have no fear. I'll go with you. I've stood beside you this long. What's one more epic battle? Hmm, as tempting as it sounds, no. I'll see this through. You're going to need the skill of a Telvani Magister to win this battle. And you're carrying my black book. If you need to use it, I can help with that. <laughs> Face it. You're stuck with me. You ended that disgusting blight crown, and I recovered the other half of the Fulcrum Obscura. Now, you must face Vermina. She's still wearing Master Shelreni's body, right? Good luck, my friend. I'll watch over Laramil and Scroot until you return. The threads of fate converge ahead of you, Proxy. Now is the moment for which the one who knows selected you. Uh -huh. You must face Vermina alone. Alone? Gidane will be no use, and Scroot and I still suffer from the effects of the lingering corruption. Hermaeus Mora believes you can save Apocrypha, and I have no reason to doubt him. Besides, I have seen you accomplish amazing things, and you carry the Black Book. Just remember, you must destroy the shell she wears to remove her protective spells. Magister Melm, I had almost forgotten about him. No, keep the soul gem with you. While the rest of us might not be in any condition to assist you, having the power of a Telvani Magister in your pocket could be the edge you need to defeat Vermina. Power I sense up ahead. It must be Vermina. Well, this is the third data Prince we are fighting against. Mora cannot find me. You must face me alone, mortal. Nightmare to power my ghost. 
tapahtuu. Tapa. What, what happened? Didn't, didn't heal. Time to die, mortal. A furious can wait. While I wear Shareni's mortal shell, Mora cannot find you. You must face me alone, mortal. This uh, went in the bullet hell. Thanks a lot. Okay. Some 
Okay. I am here, chosen. Unleash my power as you will. Okay, that's that's fine for me. Sundering. Vermina has been cast out, and Periite's contamination wanes. Well done, Chosen. Now, enter the second vault, and make sure the Glyphic is secure. How about Torvashard? Isn't he going to, like, see the... Memory as well. And now our deal is done, mortal. <laughs> I helped you save Apocrypha, and you helped me enter this vault. I will unlock this thing and recover the second part of the lost memory. Tarasar! He fooled us both, Chosen. I knew it. Emerge from the mythos and speak with me. Well, damn. Defeated, Vermina expelled. You did well, mortal. Fate chose wisely when it selected you to aid me. What has occurred is what was meant to be. All the potential futures coalesced into a single point in time to render a moment in fate absolute. It was inevitable. Torfasard has the ability to avoid detection, even from my all seen gaze. For one who knows everything, I can only speculate. Odd. I find that refreshing. It relates to the forgotten memory. But unless I look into the glyphics, those details are lost even to me now I must restore my realm the hidden kindred linger but without leaders they are merely a nuisance you however are still fates chosen return to your allies in Cypher's Midden when the time comes you will find Torvisar and deal with him. So basically this is an E part of the plot. Do not despair. Many many turns. Chosen. Through your efforts, the lost memory was denied Romina and Periite, thus preserving reality. That Torvasan saw part of the secret is regrettable, but not catastrophic. Now Return to Laramil's study in Cypher's Midden. Fate selected you to save Apocrypha and preserve reality. You have accomplished all that and more. Destiny followed the exact path that I foretold. But we are not yet done. You have more to do before our contract is fulfilled. The Prince of Fate does not lie. Two beings now remember a small part of a greater whole. There is still time and opportunity to correct this before the memory spreads. Danger exists in every corner of fate chosen. Such is the nature of existence. But the entirety of what was hidden in the distant past remains sealed away. The threads it connects to have frayed, 
but they have not broken. Reality can still be saved. Okay. I'll buy this. Return to Cypher's Midden. We will speak again. to see you unharmed. I look forward to hearing about your encounter with Vermida. Oh, let me! We defeated Vermida! <laughs> I didn't get to see you beat the Dreamweaver? How unfair is that? <sighs> so we can relax now? Ah, uh, friend, you have that look. What terrible news are you about to tell Laramie? Glad I was able to help back there. But sorry Torvisart got away. Go on, talk to Laramie. I'm sure we're not finished yet. At least, reality still seems to be stable, for the moment. My many ocular orbs appreciate what you did in the Mythos. That foul corruption was worse than forgetting to blink during a firestorm in the Deadlands. But I really wanted to see you beat Vermina with a stick. Sorry I missed that. I don't like the looks on your and Melm's faces. Something went wrong, didn't it? There's still some terrible danger that needs to be dealt with? Well, don't tell me about it. Talk to Laramil. What happened after you entered the portal, Proxy? Scrooge tells us the one who knows has reconnected with his realm. But beyond that, we are in the dark. Of course. He needed you to lead him to Vermina. Guide him to where she was lurking because she was hidden inside the body of Master Shareni. And what of the second glyphic? Is the secret memory secure? Unfortunate, but not unrecoverable. Now that Hermaeus Mora is restored, he can locate Torvasad and deal with him once and for all. Unless. Does Torvasad still have some way to elude the one who knows? Even without Blight Crown's corruption? Torfasad's nature. He is unlike any Dramora I have ever encountered. He helped us to help himself. But I believe him when he said he meant no harm. He just does not realize the danger this memory poses. I suppose that means we need to find him. Suppose uh, Torfasad is Dramora. I wonder what is his home plane. If he is Tremora, can can he be summoned, uh, conjured? Then let us take a moment to remember all we accomplished, all you accomplished, Proxy. You defeated Blightcrown, expelled Vermina, and saved Apocrypha, thereby saving Nern. Take this. The one who knows insists you accept this reward. While we contemplate the best method for tracking down Torvasad, there are two other tasks we must accomplish, Proxy. One concerns updating the records of Apocrypha. The other requires us to return to Necrom and rectify the original anomaly of fate. Scrooge can provide more information, as it is a vital part of her job. After repairing a thread of fate, she must record the final details in the Chronicle of Apocrypha. Having your name inscribed therein is a great honor. Necrom, one of the first threads of fate we investigated to uncover the identity of Apocrypha's enemies. And it is the only one we did not resolve. We must accompany Gadain back there so he can return the Fulcrum Obscura. But for Scrooge can tell you all about the process for inscribing her records in the Chronicle of Apocrypha. You should talk with her. Meanwhile, I shall discuss arrangements for returning to Necrom with Curate Gadain. As have you and I, Proxy. That is only natural when allies face unimaginable danger at each other's side. Beyond that, I would prefer if we did not mention this again. <laughs> My role has always been to observe and repair the lines of fate, never to unduly influence them, no matter how sorely I'm tempted. So while I was waiting, it was just a nervous habit that I haphazardly started checking the nearby lines of fate. The Chronicle can wait. This is more important. 
Why else would I have even mentioned anything, mortal? It's like no one ever listens to a word I say. Anyway, I noticed an anomalous thread not far from here, at the prismatic Irish shore. A fate anomaly. The sacred task appointed to me. My job is to spot and correct them. It's really important, but you don't care. I think it's the stolen glyphic. Removing it from the mythos triggered the irregularity. Luckily, I happened to spot it. Not us, mortal. Just you. And Melon, I suppose. Only fate's chosen can resolve this, and that's still you. The prismatic Irish shores north of here. Meet us in Cypher's Hall after you deal with Torvisard. Then we can update the Chronicle. Apocrypha is quite resilient. And since the burning sensation in my tentacles and the pain behind my orbs have mostly faded, I'd say yes. Besides, I can hear the melodious hum of the Great Eye resonating all around me, so that's a good sign. Ah, eh, the usual. Various denizens of Apocrypha, the stray hidden kindred or dream carver loitering about. But you might need Melm's ghost sight to follow the trail of the Glyphic. I barely noticed it, so it must still be in Torvisard's possession. No matter what we encounter, remember you literally have a Telvanni Magister in your pocket. something amiss. Use my ghost sight to look around. This bridge wasn't here a moment ago. I suggest we cross it. Coast Bridge. Never is fleeting inconsistent. Looks like an anomaly. It doesn't matter what you foresee. Reality, you must all forget. And there it is. Another piece of my memory restored. We should speak, mortal. The Prince of Fate thinks himself so perfect, but for all his power. He couldn't eliminate the memory he so desperately sought to hide. Not from my dreams, not from his own mind. And now, I remember most of it. Only one secret remains to uncover. Why would you? You are merely mortal. But I have wandered the plains with Livian for eons. An outcast with no clan. I believed I was formed that way. A forgotten scrap of creation. Until the dream began to haunt me, a fragment of an ancient memory. No, the dream that will end it, that will finally restore all that was lost. For Maeus Mora caused all this with his greed and selfishness. He made us all forget. He made me forget. There was another Daedric Prince, my Prince. A prince that saved me and preserved just enough of my memory so that I could one day save them in return. A prince whose jealous and craven siblings cast down and wiped from the annals of history. No prince of oblivion can truly be destroyed. The final glyphic contains that prince of how to find them hmm. and restore them to their rightful place. And then Mora will answer for his crimes. See for yourself. I leave the glyphic for you to examine. Go too far, Mora. It doesn't matter what you foresee. You can't do this to another prince. Or to the rest of us, for that matter. You have seen the damage Prince Athelia has already done. Athelia. If left unchecked, reality will unravel. All of us must agree, and I definitely do not. Memories are sacrosanct, 
as are the domains of the princes. You can't punish someone for something they might possibly do. I must. The risk is too great. I am truly sorry. But there is no alternative. For the sake of reality, you must all forget. forgotten has been remembered we must speak too late too late the door sealed long ago is open just a crack but the damage is done that which was forgotten is now remembered The memories released from the two glyphics are accurate and true. Etheria, the Prince of Paths, the Mistress of the Untraveled Road, the Unseen. Her ability to alter fate, to shape destiny to her liking, was a threat to all reality. It still is. the strands of fate and rearrange them to suit her every whim. Her very existence endangers everything. I saw no other way to preserve reality than to do what I did. I gathered my fellow princes and revealed the danger I foresaw. Most agreed to aid me. Some refuse. In the end, it did not matter. I erased Ethelia from history. But I could not erase my own memories. Those I sealed in the three primordial glyphics. Torvasar. Something I did not foresee. An agent of Ethelia, hidden for all these eons. Her contingency plan, her revenge. At least the final glyphic is secure. Until it is found and opened, reality remains safe. For now, return to Cypher's Midden. Yeah, so number of Daedric princes uh, I recall it's a 18. Forgotten prince, an entire Daedric prince, heretofore unknown by the academic community. And thanks to our current circumstances, I can't write a paper about <laughs> it. Truly, my meddling in fate has cursed me. So basically, basically, uh, there were 17 Daedric princes that we know of uh, previously. And that's slightly odd number because it's odd. <laughs> okay, it doesn't uh, doesn't have a pair. Uh, 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 and additionally, why it should be like uh, divisible by two is that uh, there's like eight uh, eight towers of the Arubis, eight spoke wheels of the of the of the uh, wheel. Of Arubis, so that kind of defines that there's at least 16 princes and probably more because we know that there's like you thousands upon thousands of realms of the Oblivion and there's like Daedric Lords that are really powerful 
uh, and and they they are princes that are most powerful, but they they were mentioned that uh, known seventeen known princes. And I noticed that USB.net already includes this sixth Italia as, as as the sixth De Daedric Prince. And I'm quite quite surprised that Bedesta gave an okay green light for Zenimax uh, uh, to uh, write a new Daedric Prince. But then again, it doesn't happen often. They were like spot for the Daedric Prince. They might have been even plans for new Daedric Prince uh, in their internal wiki. But yeah, uh, I'll, I'll buy. That's that's possible. Then, then again, what we know is that in the Elder Scrolls games, the plots kind of revolve around like small number of the Daedric Princes. Not every game. Uh, display every Daedric Prince so you kind of go and work with uh, 8 or 10 Daedric Princes in any any given any given uh, game now when <laughs> I fall down hey. may I have a word Magister Gorith referred to you as the Mouth of the Mouthless. I suppose that fits. It... Look, I've never been very good at this, but I wanted to thank you. In life, I was a secluded old wizard who cared nothing for anything but magic in my own studies. Nonsense. My enormous intellect certainly came in handy, but your fate's chosen. You would have found a way, with or without me. But I'm glad you rescued me from Shelreni. That you took me on this adventure. If I never escape this soul gem... Maybe. I'm in no rush. Adventuring is a new experience for me. I'm content to follow along for now. I'm going to rest for a while. Remember, as long as you have my gem, if you ever need me, just call. Now, talk to Scrooge about the Chronicle. Hello, mortal. The Green Eye told me what happened. Even though things didn't go exactly the way we hoped, we're all still here. That means reality is stable. For now. I'm as surprised as you, but existence is resilient. At least, for another day. Laramel and I spoke with a few of the ciphers, and we're all in agreement. We want to add your story to the Chronicle of Apocrypha. Only the most momentous events make it into that sacred volume. I also wanted to say... You expanded my outlook. I always saw Fade as black and white, set in stone, unchangeable. But now I see that not every aberration is a disaster. Not every surprise, a mistake. Thanks for that. Now, let's inscribe you in the Chronicle. Then Curate Gadain wants to see you. Let it be known that the name of Fate's Chosen shall be entered into the Chronicle of Apocrypha, to be remembered forever for actions accomplished in service to Fate. That's not all. They also helped return three very important tomes to their proper <laughs> place in the Sidereal Cloisters. Yeah. That mortal helped me find a secret. That whim took a century off Essex's debt. This strong mortal bravely <laughs> fought the Dream Carvers alongside us. The time has come for me to return to Necrom and complete my mission for the Abbey. When I present the Fulcrum Obscura to the Abbot, I'd like you to be at my side. Um, our side. Laramil wants to come too. Isn't that nice? That's good. That's very good. I appreciate it. Besides, 
I want to let the abbot know what you did. You preserved Nern, as well as Apocrypha, through your actions. By the way, did you find Torvasad? Leramil has been dying to know what happened. All right, all right. I get that this is the end, end, end of this DLC, imminent. basically. If the Prince of Fate needs you, he can find you on Nern as easily as here in Apocrypha. I'm sure there's more to it, but that's your business. I'll leave it to you and Laramil. I must consider the best parts of the necropolis to show to Laramil. She wants to see everything. <laughs> we'll meet you in Necrom, friend. At the necropolis. Yes, she's being quite insistent on... Wait a moment, are you having a jest with me? Laramil is a special person, as I'm sure you already know. We're just friends, I think. Oh, I don't know what I'm saying. We'll meet you back in Necrom. So it's going to be like some kind of epilogue. But this is like uh, other DLCs have this kind of uh, end end scenery where, where the people who who you have been helping uh, gather gather around. So they might leave it some cliffhanger or give some hint about the next part of the DLC, which is going to come out in uh, winter, the December. So, definitely going to play it when it comes out, because it, it's cool that they are going to add new Dead Prince <laughs> after 30, 30 years. He's waiting for you through the door to the east. Well done, Curate. With the sacred relic returned, I feel it's safe to once again open the ah. metropolis. Now, why don't you say a few words? The other other people are here. Say a few words? Me? The abbot insisted on the immediate return of the relic, friend. Sorry you missed that part of the ceremony. But now he wants me to give a speech? <laughs> I'd rather go back to Apocrypha with you and face a horde of corrupted lurkers. Right, what's in my heart? Helpful to the end, that's you. Well, I might as well get this over with. Oh, while I pull my thoughts together, Laramil wants to talk to you. Since we seem to have a moment, Tell me what occurred at the prismatic Irish shore. I see. Are you at liberty to tell me what the glyphic contained? A forgotten Daedric prince? Yeah. Only the one who knows could keep such a fact secret for so long. Is there anything else I should know? Uh, uh, this is pretty cool that uh, Bethesda and Zenimax uh, <laughs> resisted uh, urge to uh, write new Daedric prince for over 30 years. That's that's amazing. Then I am sure Hermaeus Mora shall call upon us again when the time is right. You are still fate's chosen, and I am your guide. But reality seems to be holding together for now. I think we have time to rest, to reflect, and to listen to Gadain. If there was an imminent danger, Hermaeus Mora would summon us. For now, Bask in your victories, Proxy. You faced down Daedric princes and saved Apocrypha and Nern. Take this, thanks from the one who knows, and a sign of friendship from me. Go on with your life, Proxy. When Hermaeus Mora needs us to resume the chase, I shall send word. Until then, I believe I shall remain here in Necrom for a time. Restore the bindery. Explore the necropolis. Get to know Curate Gadain a little better. Grow up, Proxy. I am well over a century old. Young for an altman. Very young. But not without my share of romantic experiences. I find the Curate to be... intriguing. I wish to take the time we have to get to know him better. To see where things may lead. Yes, but he no longer has the resources of Vermina and Periite at his command. He used them, and they shall not soon forget that. 
So even with his many abilities, he will need time to plan before he can attempt another assault on Apocrypha. I expect so, as does the one who knows. Which is why you are still bound by his contract, and I am still on call to aid you. But that is tomorrow's concern. I shall send word when the threads of fate that bind us once again converge. Be well, Proxy. Say what is in your heart, Gideon. Right. Thanks, Laramil. The abbot asked me to tell you about my adventures. How I recovered the sacred relic and saved the necropolis. But the truth is, I couldn't have done any of it without fate's champion. Someone I'm proud to call my friend. Thanks to them, we saved the relic. We saved Nern. We saved all of reality. All hail fate's champion. All hail my friend! Well said, Gadain. Thanks, Laramil. I couldn't have done any of this without you, too. Gadain. <laughs> uh... Well done. I half expected my young curate to flee the hall rather than speak to this assembly, but he did a magnificent job. Thank you again for helping Gadain recover the Fulcrum Obscura. The Necropolis wouldn't be the same without it. Yes, thank the ancestors. Although some of our brethren nearly became permanent residents of the Necropolis before we were able to nurse them back to health. Things would have been much worse if Gadain hadn't acted and teamed up with you. We resume our sacred task. Helping our people stay close to the ancestors who have gone before them. In time, I will join those who sleep below. Who knows? Perhaps Gadain will be ready to take up my responsibilities when that day comes. My mother used her magic to make sure Dacia and I could be here in person, or as good as. I can't believe Daisha enlisted the help of such a hero to try to save me. She must really love me. I don't know how I got so lucky. Blissful. Strangely so. I'm so happy, I'm afraid to trust it. Like it's a dream I'm going to wake up from. It's odd having my mother on the other side of the wards. I suppose it's how most young adults must feel leaving home for the first oh, time. Oh no. Even if we did, we have the whole isolation tower to ourselves now. Plenty of space, and all manner of diversions. And I do hold out hope that my mother is on the verge of a breakthrough. Maybe we'll be out sooner than we think. My mother used her magic to make sure Daisha and I could be here in person. Nathan was surprised to hear you were the hero of the peninsula. But I wasn't. It's wonderful to see you again. Even if we can't be there in person. Projecting in was Sathiel's idea, believe it or not. It's been quiet so far. She and Tunche are still trying to find more researchers, but I'm sure they'll get back to it soon. Nathan thinks we'll be free before the year is out. He seems restless. I don't blame him. But me? I can wait. I still want to, sure. But for the first time in my life, I'm safe, provided for, and loved. So loved. I've never known such peace and happiness. Congratulations. I guess it turns out you were right to be suspicious about the Stormwing. I've heard stories about murder, illness, and cultists infiltrating the catacombs. A good thing you were there to handle things. I'll keep the Stormwing quarantined until I can get it properly fumigated. Sooner or later, the ship's owners will send a new captain and crew from Vivek City. If they can find anyone willing to serve on her, <laughs> that is. Plague ship. Who wants to serve? Surprised to see me? Yes. I'll admit that deciphering Drainus's notes have proved to be quite the How's your nose? A surprising number of sleepless nights. But I wouldn't have missed this for the world. Not when there are so many important people in attendance. You were quite right to warn me. 
Even so, sometimes late at night, it's like I hear it whispering to me. Yeah. When you came to old Isra to ask me about Master Sildreni, I thought I was sending you to your death. And not from malice, mind you. I simply doubted she could be beaten by a wandering adventurer. I'm pleased to see that I was wrong. Ah. You wonder if there's a place for Master Sheldreni's mouth in Aldisra after all the things she did. Do not worry for me. There are a number of vacancies in the Assembly of Masters. I could be very useful to a newly promoted master. That's what a mouth does. I loyally represented my master's interests against all opposition. And I demonstrated the discretion to put House Delvani's interests first when Master Sheldreni became a threat. I shall find new employment quite soon. When you came to all... When I heard about this gathering, I knew I had to be here. You allowed me to learn from my mistakes and set things right. And with you as an inspiration, I'm facing the challenge of taking on the Lark of Rosgard with renewed vigor. At this gathering to reopen the necropolis, I couldn't possibly. As much as I might want to take him by surprise. But no, it wouldn't be proper. We're here to celebrate, and that's precisely what I'm doing. When I heard about this gathering, I knew I had to be here. May the blessings of St. Boris be upon you. I was hoping you'd say hello. The Shrine has had an influx of visitors, just as I thought it would. When I heard you would be attending the reopening celebration, I had to come and show my appreciation. What? Why? You don't think that thief would return? <laughs> oh, no, I never should have left. I just came to ask, but, oh, but it hardly matters, does it? I could have just made something up. All the pilgrims care about is hearing how you and Rolossi stopped the Lark of Rosgard. But I don't know very much about you. I'll just ask the others here about your exploits. Then I'm headed straight back to the shrine. Naru. So, Hero, I take it you've been up to your old tricks. I'm not sure how much of what I heard I actually believe. But if the danger was as great as they indicated, I'm glad you were on hand to stop it. Just don't let the attention go to your head. I think I deserve some time off. A woman can only slit so many throats and stab so many backs before she needs a hot bath and a bottle of wine. Make that two bottles. And if I can find some company to share it with, all the better. Uh, wooing of Naru has been happening since the base game. Uh, Mormon DLC was a bit of sad, so they didn't. Uh, main character and Naru didn't get. Any far. An interesting offer, but I think I'll pass. I was thinking more of something casual and meaningless. Someone or someones I won't mind gutting once I've had my fun. I'd rather not put any more holes in you than you already have. Yeah, please don't. This one could not resist coming when he heard you were to be part of this celebration. It is good to see that fortune smiles upon you and your deeds. Elsewhere, uh, this one is old. Many years past his prime. And his journey may end soon. He wishes to see the desert one more time. And give the story of the little ancestor to any who would hear it along the way. Okay, any, anyone else we haven't talked yet? To think my colleague is now eternally listed in a codex that sits within Mora's personal library. And I, as Xander Alcibiades, played a part in the tale. Ha! Now, what say we get some celebratory tea?
go on with your life, Proxy. Did I do all right, friend? I didn't seem too nervous or ramble or anything, did I? No, but I'm doing it now, aren't I? Of course I am. If your travels ever bring you back to Necrom, please, come and visit. I'll never forget our adventures. What? Did Laramil say something? Was I too forward? Not forward enough? Oh, I am so not good at this. <sighs> How could I keep a secret from you? Laramil has agreed to stay in Necrom. At least for a while. Laramil has expectations? What sorts of... Oh! I see. Yes, I shall endeavor to monitor not only her words, but her gestures. <laughs> I must seem like a country bumpkin to someone as sophisticated and traveled as Laramil. Oh, what's the use? I am a bumpkin. You... you really think so? Thank you, my friend. It means a lot for you to say that. And I meant what I said. If you ever need my help, or a place to stay, or anything, don't hesitate to call on me. I... I learned so much at your side. Alright, this is where we actually finish with the, with the main plot. New role-playing game to, tomorrow. So, first thoughts. I was surprised that Zenimax actually was given permission to make make the role cha uh, lore changes they have been making but then again they have been making lots of lots of stuff during the last couple of years so i shouldn't be uh, as surprised as, as i was but that that said this is going to be a major thing because every other elder scrolls game will kind of going to look back to next the part of the DLC and and uh, take take a page for their own uh, storytelling. So Daedric Princes are interesting. They are pretty big part of the storytelling in the Elder Scrolls, and adding new Daedric Princes pretty huge thing. So that's why uh, that's why I'm I'm looking forward to see what kind of game is going out, DLC is coming out in uh, December, because the second part of this uh, is going to uh, going to come out and it's going to be a mess, massive, it's going to be like uh, really groundbreaking and such, yeah. So that's, that's, that's my final thoughts about this DLC and there's some, some small uh, Side quests I haven't already played. Uh, I'm going to play them, of course, but uh, so far we are. Our broadcast is going to end here. Joten meidän lähetyksemme loppuu tähän. Jatkako se tätä vieläkin? Jatkan. Tässä on itse asiassa loppu, loppu, loppu palauten niin sanotusti menossa. Tää, näissä lisäosissa on näissä tämmönen näin, niinku, missä nämä henkilöt, mitä on auttanut, niin ne puhuu, puhuu juttuja ja povataan vähän tulevaa. Seuraava osa tästä lisäosasta tulee joulukuussa. Se tulee vaikuttamaan aika paljon tarinan kerronnallisesti. Tuossa on isoista aika asioista kyse. Yllätys oli aika kova ja tosiaan niin nyt jään, jään odottamaan ihan iloissani tätä näin. Mutta nyt, ää, vaikka auki kesä, haluan mennä nukkumaan. Ja täytyy leikata tästä jossain vaiheessa sitten niin YouTubeen se lyhennetty versio, mistä on turhat kävelyt otettu pois. Joten... Ää, Sanon hyvästi ja hyvää yötä kaikille katsojille. Kiitos katsomista. Muistakaa tykätä ja muistakaa pelata pelejä. Thank you for watching. Remember to uh, play uh, games, games you like. Anyway, good night.